hello hi guys how are you doing welcome back to my youtube channel this is cooking with barbara modoni if you're new here karibu sana you're so much welcome to the family remember to subscribe and to press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i post a new video so today i'm going to show you how to prepare a banana bread yes not a banana cake a banana bread so guys stay tuned so to make the banana bread you'll need two cups self-raising flour one cup sugar quarter teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda that is baking soda not baking powder one teaspoon vanilla essence two eggs one tablespoon of ground nuts that is optional three bananas if they're small you can use four and they should be very ripe these dots are a sign ripeness you should not use the ones that are almost ripe they should be very ripe and then half a cup melted butter or you can use cooking oil so let's get started we are going to start by preparing our bananas and we're going to mash them using a fork So we're going to mash them using the back of a fork. The riper they are, the easy it is to mash them. If you can get even riper than these ones, the better. And guys don't blend them mashing them is enough Our bananas are ready so I'm going to set them aside. Next we're going to prepare our dry ingredients. I'm going to add our flour, then our sugar, then we're going to measure our salt. We need a quarter teaspoon. This is a quarter teaspoon so just level. Then next we are going to add our bicarbonate of soda. We need one teaspoon. That is one teaspoon. Make sure when you're using these spoons you level everything. Don't use or don't measure them when they are heaped. And then our groundnuts. So I'm just going to mix all our dry ingredients. And then we're going to prepare our wet ingredients separately. So, in another bowl, break your eggs. Then, 
gradually add your melted butter and then your vanilla essence we need one teaspoon of this And then never put extra vanilla essence. Whatever you're baking will turn out to be bitter. Once you're done, we have now three ingredients which we need to mix together so we're going to start by adding this egg and margarine mixture to our flour or rather to our dry ingredients and mix them And next, I'm going to add our bananas. And as always, never over mix when you want to bake. So once everything is well mixed, you stop mixing. See everything here is well mixed. That's why I've switched to using the fork because you don't want to over mix it. And our bread butter is ready. So the next thing is we're going to preheat our oven. And as our oven is preheating, we're going to line our baking tin is always 180 degrees with the heat coming from above and below for 10 minutes this is our bread tin so take a piece of serviette put some margarine and then just spread it around all over the container. Or you can use the trick I showed you to make parchment papers. Yeah, so then finally we are going to dust it with some flour.
and then you remove the extra and we have a well lined baking tin so next just going to add our batter on top this is just to decorate the bread yeah so our bread is ready to go into the oven let's wait for the oven to preheat so guys our oven has preheat so we're just going to put our bread in and start baking and guys always remember to bake at the center of your oven So guys, it's one hour past and our cake should be ready. It looks ready. So we are going to leave it in the container for 15 minutes to cool. Then we are going to remove it and place it on a cooling rack. So our bread is cool. So I'm just going to transfer it. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Let me bring you up close. Hey, hey. It looks and smells so nice, you guys. Let's cut and see how the inside looks. you guys Aish. our bread looks so so nice so let me show you the inside of it it looks so nice guys Aish. it looks so nice can't wait to taste it Let's get a piece and taste. It's so yummy, it's so so yummy, and you can feel the texture of the groundnut in the bread. Guys, I hope you'll try out this recipe and tell me how it goes. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Till next time, bye.